Hey everyone! Today I'm going to be talking about bottled water and some of these common misconceptions that people have about the safety and the quality of bottled water. Um, so I, I always hear so many people say, my tap water is just, it's just gross, I don't want to drink it, so I buy bottled water. Or people will often say, oh yeah, I just, you know, fill up the jugs of water at my local grocery store because I just can't stand to drink the tap water. Um, and so, you know, there's no, no shame if you're one of those people. Um, you might just be being misled by these really, really common marketing gimmicks that um, bottled water companies often use to sell their products. So how safe is bottled water? Um, this is a really great question. Um, the reality is, is that it's, you know, if not as safe, maybe a little less safe as tap water. Um, so the reason because of the reason that this is, is because the FDA, Food and Drug Administration, regulates bottled water and the Environmental Protection Agency or EPA regulates tap water. Um, and so these standards are basically identical. So basically um, every contaminant that EPA regulates, FDA regulates as well. There's one exception and that's lead. Um, the standard for lead in bottled water is just a little bit lower because bottled water should never pass through any of the same infrastructure that it does um, for municipal tap water. So that, that's the only discrepancy. Other than that, bottled water and tap water follow identical, like mirror image uh, regulations and standards. So um, that also means that bottled water could potentially have things like arsenic, PFAS, um, and then some regulated contaminants, um, herbal arsenic, uh, mercury, benzene, a bunch of other contaminants, all of that is identical. Um, so as I just mentioned, PFAS also is unregulated, which means that it's unregulated for bottled water and for tap water. Um, with that unregulated component, testing requirements are not enforced for bottled water similar similar to how they're not enforced for tap water. Um, so Consumer Reports actually did a study that tested a variety of different bottled water brands. Um, and so they tested still water and carbonated water. And they actually found that seven of the uh, carbonated brands had detectable levels of PFAS. And two of the still brands also had PFAS as well. Um, and so this was pretty shocking to people that were using bottled water because their municipalities had detectable, level, detectable levels of PFAS. Um, and so, you know, the, the crux of this is basically that just because you think you're eliminating PFAS by using bottled water, that just, you know, isn't the case sometimes. You can find um, this article on our website, hydrobeave.com, and if you just type into the search bar, um, PFAS bottled water, you'll be able to find it. Um, so this kind of leads me into the next thing I wanted to talk about, which is marketing. Bottled water companies have really cracked the code on their marketing efforts. Um, and so, Every company uses some image of like a pristine lake or a waterfall or a glacier or something along those lines to make people believe that, you know, the water that they're drinking and buying is from this really um, pristine and clean source. Um, and again, that's, that's just not the case. Um, so bottled water companies actually aren't required to disclose the exact source of their water. Um, and so with tap water, that is a requirement. Ta uh, municipal water providers are required to say, we got our water from this lake, this groundwater aquifer. You know, they're required to let the public know 
you know, the specifications of where they're sourcing the water that's, that people are drinking. Um, and so it's just not the case with bottled water. So usually bottled water packaging will have where um, it was either like bottled, produced, manufactured, whatever it is, but not necessarily the actual source. Um, so just kind of, kind of a little sneaky, sneaky thing that um, bottled water companies do. And so I wanted to actually provide an example of this. Um, so a couple of years ago, a Whole Foods brand um, was pulled off the shelves because it was it was discovered that they had extremely high levels of arsenic um, in the bottled water. And so this brand was marketing themselves as um, it was obviously being sold at Whole Foods, so like healthy, safe, it was being marketed in that way as well. And the brand was sourcing their water from this deep groundwater well in um, the southwestern United States, either Arizona or New Mexico, I can't quite remember. Um, and arsenic is extremely prevalent in the southwestern part of the United States. Um, we know this because communities in Arizona, like Phoenix, have high levels of arsenic. Um, Albuquerque as well. So we weren't really surprised to find out that this bottled water company that was sourcing their water from this known hot spot of arsenic had arsenic. Um, and so, yeah, the brand was pulled briefly from the shelves of Whole Foods, but I've, I've seen it since. And again, you can check out hydrohu.com and type in arsenic bottled water to our search bar, and you'll be able to find the article that we wrote kind of highlighting um, highlighting this, this uh, case study. Just leave you with some, some facts about bottled water that hopefully you'll consider the next time you're at the grocery store or some facts that you can tell to friends and family members who are still relying heavily on bottled water. Um, and these are like, these are more of the environmental facts. So like, we know that our plastic consumption in the U.S. is just going up and up and up, and bottled water really contributes to that. Um, so the first fact actually is has to do with source water. Um, this is pretty astounding. So 25 to 45 percent of bottled water actually comes from a municipal source water. So exactly what what we were just talking about in that it's usually not much better than what's coming out of your tap in terms of where it's being sourced. Um, second, by 2050, the ocean will contain more plastic than fish by weight. 91% um, of plastic isn't recycled, so that means that a majority of the single-use plastic, such as plastic water bottles, ends up in landfills or the environment. It can take 400 years for one single plastic water bottle to fully decompose in the environment. So I just wanna leave you with those fast facts. These are all things to consider um, when purchasing bottled water um, and things that hopefully will make you reconsider. So please share this with friends and family. Make sure to subscribe to Water Nerd TV. Um, and yeah, we'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye. Thanks so much.